Hey guys, today I played 200 days of Minecraft in a desert only world. This is part 2 of this series, so if you haven't seen the first one, uh, y you should. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe, it really helps me out and it means a lot. But yeah, anyways, let's get into the video. On day 101, I begin by farming some wheat. This is so I can breed some of my cows, and then I go out to find a village. This is where I got some sheep, and I took them home with me. This was a long journey, and was even harder after it turned night. There were all these mobs, and my sheep almost died by this creeper. But it's okay though, because I was able to take them home, and on day 102, I began to build their pen. I placed the dirt for the flooring, but I ran out, so I went out to get some more. I came across this village, and I took everything from them. I also found these pigs, so I, I took them home. Yeah, I'm, I'm a nice person. Day 103, I finished off the pen, I added the fencing, and I put the sheeps in. I expanded their pen, and then I put the pigs in theirs. I sheared the sheep for the first time, and made them breed. I made the terrain look a little nicer, and I grabbed a bunch of leaves. I sheared some sheeps and mined a lot on day 104, and I found some diamonds. Let's, let's go. Day 105, I got rid of the sign and the dispensers. I got a name tag from a villager, and I was ready to go to the end. I built very far out, and then I began to build my platform. I run out of materials, so I have to go back home. And then I continue to build. Since this is the only place Enderman can spawn, there, there's a few. I finish off the platform and then I begin to create the killing chamber. I spam Ender Pearls to spawn an Endermite. I name him and then I place him in a minecart. I destroy everything around it and the farm is ready. When I go down, there are so many Endermen. I kill them for XP. And in about a minute, I have 35 levels. I also have a full chest of enderpearls. I then create a dispensing system because there are so many enderpearls. And the farm is ready. I get home on day 109 and trade with some villagers. I get some books. And then I place it on my sword and axe. I breed some cows. And then uh, kill them. Because why not? I go to the end to heal up my axe at the experience farm. And then I go into the portal. I go to find some end cities, and eventually I am able to. I get the elytra, and loot out the entire place. I find two end cities literally right next to each other, which was really weird. Again, I loot the entire end city, and in the end, I have 34 shulker shells. I go back to the farm because it's just so satisfying. Day 111, I put everything in my storage system, and then I create a nice wall. Day 112, I go out to find a pillager house, I kill the leader, and then I leave. When I get to the village, I start a raid. I kill all the pillagers, and almost die a few times. It was pretty scary. So, I take some high ground to be safe, but I still get into some pretty close calls. For some reason, the raid just ended, so I just left. But it's okay though, because I got a bunch of totems. Day 113, I go to the fortress to get some wither skulls, and I was able to get my first ever one. While I'm there though, you know, I kill some blazes and some gas, and I got into a few close calls. I continue to grind and almost die on day 114, and I was able to get two more. So I go back home. For no apparent reason, I enchant a hoe, and get a pretty good enchant. I then use it to celebrate, and then I go into the mine to spawn my very first wither. Since I was so prepared for the fight, it wasn't that hard, and I got my very first nether star. I place it on my wall, and I fix up my trash can. Day 116, I begin to work on my iron farm. I build up and create my cubicles for the villagers to stay in, and I build the staircase for them to climb into. I made a railway system to push some villagers out and I began to build my way up. I got into a close call, but it's okay, I killed him. And then I pushed the villagers into the roller coaster. Because I had a limited amount of rails, I had to take a few trips, 
but during nighttime, I was able to just destroy their minecarts and they just walked into their beds. I then mined everything and made sure they wouldn't jump off in the morning. Day 118, I began to build the contraption for the zombie to fall into its hole. I get a name tag, and then I'm ready for nighttime. I lure a zombie up the stairs. I juke him out and he falls into the hole. And on day 119, I destroy all of the staircase. Then I begin to create the iron golem chamber. This is where the iron golems will fall to their death. Sadly though, I let some water out and a villager fell out of its hole all the way back down to the ground. <sighs> Whatever, I continue to finish the farm and then I made the staircase for the villager to go back to its bed. And right when it turned nighttime, it literally just walked all the way back to its bed. Day 122, I went to the nether to get some lava and I used it for the killing chamber. I destroyed the glass so the villagers get scared, and the farm was ready. I fall down to see an iron golem dying. It was very satisfying to just see them fall to their death. I then fly all the way back up to the AFK room, and AFK for 3 days. It was very nice. I was probably just eating like noodles or something. And on day 124, I un AFK'd and checked the iron farm to see 2 stacks. But it's okay though, because there was a bunch of gunpowder. Day 125, I saw the problem, the iron golems got stuck, so I fixed it up, and I saw my axe wasn't working well, so I enchanted another axe, and I combined it to create the best axe in the game. I fly out, and grab some sands, I grab, you know, a lot. This is for the TNT. Day 126, I kill some cows, and I go to the nether. And this is the start of my netherite expedition. I place my TNT, but then realize I don't have a flint steel, so I have to run back. Whatever, I get my flint steel and I light it up. I found a bunch of ancient debris on just this one tunnel, so I did it a bunch more times. I go back home on day 128, and in the end I get 22 ancient debris. I place everything in my storage system, and I make my 6 netherite ingots. And I use these on my pickaxe, axe, and my, my hoe. And I, I got an achievement. Let's go! I go to the XP farm and get a bunch of XP. Day 129, I trade with the villagers, and then upgrade all of my tools. I then begin to go out find ravines, and get a bunch of dirt. I go to a village and just take all their dirt. I continue to do this on day 130, and I find another pillager house, and I take all of their wood. And then I continue to get some more dirt. Yes, this is... It's very repetitive, but it's worth it. When I get home, I begin to replace the sands with all the dirt. I continue to do this on day 132. I then take some grass blocks and place it all around. The iron farm still isn't working, so I then get rid of the glass and try to do something else. Day 133, I go back out and get more dirt. I get into a bunch of fights, but I'm so stacked they really can't do anything. But yeah, more dirt. On day 134, we have a full shulker box full of dirt, and we use this to continue our project. I try to make it look nice, but, you know, of course, I, I I don't, so I try to fix it up a bit. And I check it out, and, you know, it it, it could be better. Day 137, we, we go out again and get even more dirt. Let's go. I even have to go back to the end to repair my shovel. For some reason, I can't sleep in my house, so I just take it outside. I continue to change the floor into dirt. Finally, I fill it all up, and it looks pretty nice. I still can't sleep, but whatever. Day 140, I begin to build the giant dirt circle. It was really hard to count correctly to make the circle perfect. I even had to go through the sugar cane to replace the dirt. When I check it out, it really looks nice. I then breed the cows and kill them all. I then go to the nether and travel super far to build another portal. And, you know, I, I get more dirt. 
yeah, what is new? Well, while I'm doing this task, I kill a zombie, and he actually drops a carrot. I was so excited. Day 144, I continue to mine, and I get close to dying. Not really, but this is the only action I have. More dirt mining. I was secretly going insane. After a day of mining, I get a full shulker box full of dirt, and I grab another shulker box and try to fill that one up. Finally, I get back home, and I'm actually able to sleep in my bed. Day 146, I place my first ever carrot, and I begin to fill in my dirt circle. I continue to fill for the next four days, just mindlessly putting in dirt. I run out of dirt, so that means that on day 149, I emptied my shulker boxes, and I went back out. This... this is... I, I'm dying inside. I go back to the end to repair my shovel for the second time, and on day 150, we're done. Just kidding, nope, we're, we're still going. I actually find this very rare structure, so, I mean, that was pretty cool. I've never seen it before. Finally, I actually find some diamonds, which is kind of interesting. And on day 151, I find even more diamonds. Yeah, my luck is getting a little bit better. I get home, and then I decide to create a valuable box. And you know, I continue to fill in my dirt circle. Y yay! I then had to destroy all of the sugarcane and replace it with dirt. Yeah, I don't know why I did this, but why not? I found a watering trader, and he was selling tropical fish, so I, I bought two, because, you know, I'm bored. And I continue to mine. I finish the outline of all the terrain, and I fill it all in. And finally, on day 155, I finish the circle. Let's go! I then expand my carrot farm and check to see how much iron I have, which, it's not that bad. Day 156, I mine down some trees and begin to make a second floor for the villagers. I replace their flooring with sandstone, and then I try to make the room look a little nicer, but I don't know. And while the villagers were sleeping, I replaced their roof with smooth sandstone, and it looks really nice. I add another roof to it just to remove that wood, and I change up the walls because they looked really bad. I fixed up the floors and sheared some sheep for beds. Day 159, I finish up the room and I give them two stacks of bread to make a, a lot of babies. I expand my carrot farm even more and I grab some saplings from these leaves. I put them all over the place trying to make the base look a little bit more natural. And on day 160, I added some torches so mobs don't spawn and killed some iron golems because, you know, why not? I then traded with the villagers and used these emeralds to get a frostwalker book. Tried to put it on my shoes, but I couldn't, so I had to put it on a different pair. This is because I wanted to try to make ice, but sadly, when I used a silk touch pickaxe, it, it didn't work, so all of that was for nothing. I then begin to work on my auto storage system. While I'm making it, a wandering trader comes in and he's selling a birch sapling, so I immediately buy it and place it down. I continue to work on the system, and on day 162, I finished the item mover and made the dispenser auto spit out items. And while I was creating a glass tower, a creeper blew me up. Day 163, I get some wood, and I use that for the chest. I place hoppers behind them, and I build the water chamber. Day 164, I begin to create the redstone. This is how the sorter actually works. And boom, as you can see, the iron is shot up and flows into the chest. I continued to add this for all the other farms. I connected it to my gunpowder farm, and then my sugarcane farm. I mine the tunnel, and place water so they flow through. I block it off, and it's ready. I then finish the day off with making a road. For the next three days, I grind for wither skeleton skulls, and in the end, I get two. But that's okay, I go back to farming, and I breed my first ever pigs. I go back to the nether, and I see a cat, so I go back home and grab some fish. And I tried to tame it, but it really just didn't work out. So I just gave up and killed him. I go back to the fortress and farm some more wither skeletons. And I almost died many times. And I got very lucky today. After just this one day, I was able to get three wither skeleton skulls. I spend the next day also farming skulls. And I almost died, but it's okay because I was able to get my sixth skull. I go back home and fish for the rest of the day. I see a cat, and I try to tame it, and I actually do. 
Again, I went back to the fortress, but this time I actually brought fire res, so I was pretty prepared. I really thought I was invincible, but apparently I'm not because I almost just died, but it's okay. I got away and somehow didn't die. I'm done, so I go back home, and on day 172, I place everything, including my food, in the chest. So when I place the withers in, I had nothing to heal me, and when I tried to run away, I didn't have food, and I withered to death. Really annoying, but, you know, that's how it is. I actually found my food, took a safer route by shooting the withers, and I was able to kill the first wither, and after that, the second one was a piece of cake. I put them on my wall and fish for the rest of the day. Day 173, I go back to the XP farm and get back to level 30. And then I go back to fishing. Yeah, it's it's really peaceful. Day 174, I kill all the iron golems I can, like a lot of them. Then I mine down the trees and get all the saplings I can. I breed with the cows and sheep, and I go back to the nether. I get into another close call. Sadly though, on day 175, even with a tone of undying, I still die. Ah, yeah, I suck. Luckily though, I was able to grab an elytra, and I flew back down to get my stuff. I spent the rest of the day just grinding wither skeleton skulls. I get back home, and on day 176, I fly out to try to find some cats. My goal is to tame every single cat in the game. So, I'm able to find two cats, and tame both of them, and I go to another village and tame even more cats. It's a really fun life. On day 127, I breed Walnut and Gerald, and they make a little baby. He's so cute. And I get some fish, so I can breed more of the cats. I go back to the fortress and try to get more Wither Skeleton Skulls, and I'm able to get three. So on day 178, I make another Wither, but sadly, when I'm trying to kill it, I realize I run out of food. So I run out of there and try to get out, but again, I wither away. Luckily, I had a totem, but still. I kill some cows, like a lot of them, and go back in to try to finish the job. After I got food though, it was so easy to kill him, and I got another nether star. I placed it on my wall, but it looked a little inappropriate, so I fixed it up a bit, and there we go. I fish for the next two days. And on day 179, I breed all of my cats. And my cat army is getting a little too big. And I go to bed with a cat's butt right in my face. Day 180, I go to get some obsidian. And I go to the nether and travel really far away. There, I place another portal. And this gave me another achievement. I go back home and sleep with a cat in my face again. Day 181, I grind for trees and I make my cobblestone walls. This is so I can surround my entire circle with walls so mobs can't get in. I didn't know what to do for my farm, so I just went around it. And on day 182, I finish the walls, and it looks really nice. I make an entrance and add some fence gates, and then I make stacks of torches to place all around my walls. I then spend day 183 placing torches all around my base, just so mobs can't spawn. I go to the nether and get a bunch of glowstone and begin smelting cactus so it can dye my sheep. I start the day off by breeding all of my cats and then I sheared all my sheep so I can cover my glowstone. I place these as torches because they're not as ugly and on day 185 I went to a pillager home and killed its leader to get bad omen. I went to a village to start a raid and I began to kill every single pillager. Again just like every other fight. I almost die because I don't learn. The Iron Golems were the best teammates I could ever ask for. I couldn't find the last raider, I looked everywhere, so I just gave up and began to mine some iron. After mining for a bit, I have a lot of iron blocks, but not enough for a beacon, so I go back out to mine. I spend the rest of the day mining because I need about 20 more iron blocks to create a beacon. I get back home and I smell all of my iron. I grab some obsidian and use this to create my beacon. And after smelting all of the iron, I was two blocks short 
So I spend the rest of the day just killing iron golems. I almost died, but we're not going to talk about it. Finally, I had enough to make the pyramid, so I go out on day 189 and mine straight down. I dig the area for my pyramid and begin to create it. I place the beacon and it actually worked. I used it for haste too, which gives me insta mine and it is so satisfying. After a minute of mining, I was able to find some diamonds, which is insane. I get some more diamonds. And because I forget to light up the place, there were a lot of mobs. I got into a, a bit of a close call, but we're okay. I'm surprised I didn't die though. I was ready to leave, so I got all my stuff and began to mine the pyramid. It actually took a very long time to mine. Day 192, I place all my shulker boxes and put everything into my storage system. I mine the floor to give me more room for chests. I grab some wood and I make a second floor. I mine some birch because, you know, it's fun and spend the rest of the day just fishing. I breed all my cats on day 194 and I bring them outside. And then I begin to build my cat house. I try to make it pretty big just so all the cats can fit in. I even added a balcony. And when I check it out, it... Oh god. Yeah, okay, let's try again. So, on day 195, I fix it up a bit, add the roof. And, you know, I... I, I don't... Yeah, no. Alright, we're, we're gonna try again. I spend the next two days widening up the house, trying to make it look not as awkward. I had to destroy most of the house just so I could make it look a little bit better. I added some stairs, and then I began to build the roof again. And when I look back, you know, it looks pretty nice. Kind of. So I grabbed all my cats and brought them inside. Since there were so many of them, it took a while, but I finally was able to. And on day 197, I created my potions, getting ready to go to the end. I made my end crystals. And to waste some time, for the next two days, I spent building a pumpkin farm. I made it underground, right under the melon farm, because I didn't really have room in my circle. I had to go out and find more dirt, because I ran out. Place some torches, so no mobs spawn, like, as you can see. And I finished building it. On day 200, I went to the end. I placed the four end crystals to spawn the ender dragon again. And after a really long, like, ritual, the ender dragon spawned. It was much easier this time because I had an elytra, but I, I almost died because I was being stupid, but we're not going to talk about that. I destroyed all the crystals, and I killed the ender dragon. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe. I spent about 50 hours on this video, so if you did, it would really help me out and would mean a lot. Also, if you want to see me get to 300 days, hit that like button. But yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.